Hello guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel, Tokyo Kara Konbanwa, herzlich willkommen. Yeah guys, Lucid had its breakout yesterday, ticker LCID, I already uh, said here one week ago in one of my videos uh, that I expect that we could see a price run here back to $5 in February guys, I will explain you in this video why I made this video already one week ago if you didn't seen that video yet guys or if you didn't check that out that was here on the 23rd of january where i uploaded this and yeah because guys everything in trading is based on algorithms you can already see here the t minus 35 day rule what is that guys i focus here for lucid of course on the chart on different events in the chart and when you know how trading works when you know how to draw chart patterns then you know that everything is based on algorithms and everything is following specified patterns and I will show you here in this video what we can expect for Lucid to happen and yeah maybe even a short squeeze is possible because yesterday we had a very very huge volume here of 124 million guys in just one day compared to the average volume this is more than triple almost here so that looks very very good for Lucid yeah we have to check out what is uh, possible here in the chart I focus here on my channel on short squeeze stocks so I have this official playlist here which I yeah, make available for everybody in YouTube so every stock which is covered here in this playlist is available for everybody but I also have the Elite Circle membership here on my channel guys where I show yeah I would say much much more explosive short squeeze stocks of course you know you, you know the sentence no risk no reward uh, these are very very high shorted stocks with high short squeeze potential with a lot of yeah manu manipulated things going on behind the scenes yeah and uh, just now I uploaded one video today where we have a possible 800% squeeze incoming. If you want to see that video as well, guys, you can check out here my membership membership on the channel here, the Elite Circle membership, where I show all these hidden short squeeze stocks and also my personal short squeeze indicators, which I use for my own trades. The comment section for each video is enabled, so you can comment anything you want, any questions for stocks. Uh, indicators or whatever you want me to do guys I will reply to your comments and I do also uh, chart analysis on request so when you want to see any stock that you cannot find here on YouTube or whatsoever I do a full video chart analyze for you here on request and I also have live streams for elite circle members only you can check that out guys if you have yeah if you want to learn more on trading guys so Lose it. So what we can expect. So we had this very, very nice pump yesterday, 27%. You can also see the watch list, which I have here for the YouTube stocks. Let's call it like that. There is a uh, lucid here place ranked number one. I already made a video here on uh, GDHG, Golden Heaven Group. So there is also huge squeeze potential. And I will also do a video on Mullen today, guys, to let you know what happened here next. So first of all, first of all, why did we see that squeeze happen, guys? It's very, very simple. You can see when we see the chart here for the last uh, days, weeks or months, you can see we had this unusual volume spike here. As soon as we hit the top of this trend channel, we had a sell off incoming here. This is, of course, <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys, I still have a small cold. This is nothing what is caused by retail investors. This is uh, absolute normal market manipulation based on the algorithms. So when the algos start to kick in here, as soon as we hit the top of this trend channel here, then they use shorts and I would say naked shorts to bring the price down. I mean, here was no buying pressure at all. You can see the price just tanked down here without any kind of support. And of course, when something like that happened, that means a lot of naked shorts are involved or even fail to deliver are generated because buyers stepping in, but you cannot see the buy orders here in the chart. And that's why you have some volume spikes like this in between as soon as certain price levels are hit and I made the video because we I said that that this is the um, yeah for me the level where I buy lucid $2.58 that was the retracement of the Fibonacci here the 1618 retracement which was perfect we just hit that perfect we had our first bounce came back with a gap down this is always a very bullish sign guys and now we can initiate a short squeeze it is possible to see a short squeeze if we can keep this volume up here then it looks really really good guys so overall, why did I know the timing also for this? As I said, for me, the trend channel, of course, indicates when something happens. But when we concentrate here on this volume candle and just measure from here 35 days, guys, then you can see exactly on the 35th day. So that was here, this yellow line, exactly here, 100% 35 days later. The, uh, the, yeah, the bounce from Lucid was initiated and this is when they the short sellers start to cover their fail to deliver. So this is nothing based on news, in my opinion. I never... 
uh, read news about a stock or whatsoever. I just focus on the chart. And as I say, guys, if you want to learn how to do that by yourself, because this is the purpose here of my channel to uh, educate you in trading, to teach people how to be successful in trading. And I know that a lot of people lose when they start trading because you make wrong decisions. You have not the technical skills to uh, place yeah, good entries and exits for a trade. So that takes some time to learn that, but I help you here on this channel how to yeah, enter those trades here. And as I said, this is not a financial advice, guys. My videos are not a financial advice, but I try to give you some ideas where are possible entry and exit points based on the chart. When we have a quick look at Findle, guys, you can see that Lucid has still a very, very huge short interest on their float. That's why I personally, guys, personally, I would not do a long-term trade here of course I would uh, I place here long trades for lucid but uh, more or less in uh, favor of a swing trade so we have 23 million shares short and as you can see that we follow this pattern here I will show that in a second again guys we follow this pattern here over and over again that's why in my opinion it's quite simple to trade lucid if you want to do swing trades also what is now in favor for us is that there are no shares available to short that looks really good guys but the problem is that the short sellers try to get those shares desperately if they cannot get official shares to short guys what will they do they will create naked shorts yeah that's what it is i mean we cannot prove that this is just my opinion here based on my experience as a trader but as i said guys they will they will find a way to bring the price back down but if the volume stays like this if we have this huge uh, buying volume incoming for the next days then we can of course also uh, initiate a short squeeze make them make the short sellers a force to cover their shares and then of course you can see much higher prices for lucid guys yeah as we can see lucid made a lot of delusion here in the past weeks and months you can see the float was uh, basically 542 million shares here and now we're talking here about 885 million shares so the float increased here this is of course not in favor for a short squeeze because the short sellers have more shares available uh, to short or to lend out. And as I said, the average volume is sitting here at 47 million shares. So what to expect, guys? What, what to expect for Lucid? I mean, you can already see how the stock is reacting here on the trend channel. So we had this breakout here. And this is something that can happen if we see a short squeeze as soon as we would see a price over this trend channel here. If we really can break out out of this trend channel, which means if we would see a straight line here today, to the upside that means the price over four dollar fifty two then we is possible that we retouch here the ema 200 line at six dollars almost here five dollar ninety five and as you know or as you don't know if you don't know when you have this kind of fibonacci retracements this is something like technically unsettled business the the price should retest here the old levels of the retracement one more time to confirm that this level is not a support anymore and if we see a price this is my opinion guys based on my experience over four dollar forty seven over this level here if we see a, a full candle closing over this level then it's very very possible that we see a short squeeze and we also have this open gap here in the chart four dollar seventy one i marked that here so this is one of our indicator here that we can say there is a possible squeeze incoming and this is unsettled business in the chart and lucid is trending to close those gaps as well to the downside and to the upside you can see always when we have gaps in the chart those gaps get filled we gapped up here the gap has closed by this violent move here small gap here closed small gap here closed so lucid is trending to close those gaps here a big gap to the downside boom closed as soon as we hit the top of this uh, uh, the bottom of this trend channel guys the chance for a squeeze is very very huge so you can also see i made some kind of rsi pattern here in the chart we can check the weekly chart for this as well and you can see that this whole pattern here since more or less since 2021 we're trading here in a wedge pattern based on the weekly rsi guys so we are very very close to breakout you can see it is of course possible that we get rejected here that which would mean we yeah maybe see 20 30 percent more to the upside and then that's it this is possible but also here just based on the weekly chart uh, when we see this chart picture here then at least three dollar eighty and four dollar twenty four are the price levels to go i don't expect more uh, resistance before this price levels to be honest guys so i expect that we see some more upside incoming i mean when we have a price run up of um, 27 percent in one day it is normal that you see something like a pullback you can see when we try to break out here with this weekly candle how the bear stepped in and compressed the price down so it is possible that we come maybe back down here to three dollars or a little bit lower 
then maybe then start to bounce. But what is really, really interesting, guys, and this, in my opinion, will initiate a short squeeze as soon as we have a breakout here out of this RSI pattern here, as soon as the green line peers through this RSI pattern, let's say as soon as we come over this 50% area here on the weekly RSI, we know here in the weekly chart, guys, this will initiate a short squeeze, in my opinion, if we have the volume, if we can keep up this volume, if we pierce to this level here. So maybe we can pierce through that this week and that could initiate a short squeeze next week, guys. This is not a financial advice. As I said, we have to wait for the price actions. We have to review, review the chart daily. I mean, everything looks bullish. That was a very, or is still a very, very important um, technical level. And we had already two bounces here from that level. So this was what the short sellers wanted or the market makers. They waited for this price correction here. So that's why it's very possible that we see in total here a 100% move or even more incoming. I mean, just here until the gap, it's already 82%. And if we would retest here the EMA 200 based on the price today, that would mean 130% to the upside. <clears throat> if the, I mean, if the buying con, uh, volume is still ongoing, guys, if this is still possible and we don't get rejected here on the EMA 200, then in my opinion here, uh, yeah, $6.12 is aligning here. You can see the previous button which we had here. I will mark that also for you in the chart because this would be, of course, some of the price levels where you should take latest year you should take profits in my opinion but it is possible if we still have volume and still find support over six dollar 16 guys then the next price targets are waiting here nine dollar 22 and ten dollar 22 guys this is also possible which is yeah which was here you can see that the previous support of lucid was here nine dollar 60 and that would be the ultimate price goal target for this stock Based on the delusion, guys, I mean, when we had still the, the same uh, kind of float, I would say, of course, much higher price targets are possible, but you can see we trading you know, far below this price level here. So that's why I think latest here, there should be some kind of exit strategy and you should take all your profits and you can just, you know, have a few shares left to see what happens in the future. But that would be already a massive price move to the upside, guys. This is my opinion based on the chart, not a financial advice. Guys, I thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. As I said, if you want to learn more, you can just join in here. The Elite Circle membership, guys, we're growing every day. I have every day new members incoming here. So thank you very much, guys, for your support. And welcome to all the new members, to all my new followers here on the channel, all new viewers, if you are new here, guys. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoy these videos here. I wish you great success with your trades and see you in the next video. Arigato gozaimasu. Vielen Dank. Alles Gute. Viel Erfolg beim Traden und bis bald. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.